Hey everyone, so uh, this is a little preview for the Oakland Raiders playing the Cleveland Browns this Sunday uh, in Cleveland. So going into this matchup, we have a lot of, uh, I guess, things to worry about in ways because whenever we win a game, we'll follow it with a loss. And consistency has been a big trouble of this Raiders team. Uh, you know, we, we got to work on that word consistency throughout and uh, not liking it completely. We already know Greg Kowski is out for the year projected. Uh, I'm not sure if Charlie Fry is completely healthy as this video has been made. Um, for the Browns, they've been playing good football for the past two games. As we know, they're 2-0 and against the Steelers and the Chiefs in the, the last two games they played. Uh, you know, that offensive line looked good against the Chiefs. They ran the ball well. and Josh Cribbs, two return touchdowns uh, against the Chiefs last week in that high-scoring affair, 41-34 against the Chiefs. But also remember that their defense has stepped it up, too, against the Pittsburgh Steelers in that 13-6 game. Steelers, you know, they're, they're on their downside, but the Browns, for the one night, stepped it up. And uh, we got to throw all those rankings of their defense, you know, how bad their defense is. we got to throw that out the window because... There are times where this defense can step it up, as we've seen against the Steelers. They got to Roethlisberger like eight times or something like that. I forgot the exact number, but the Raiders' offensive line is going to be a big key whether we win or lose this game. Uh, you know, the crowd should not affect the game. I know it's in Cleveland, but that, that should not affect anything. Uh, but what, what will affect is that offensive line or not, because... Uh, it's been injured. I know Gallery's out for the year. And there were times where Denver did get to uh, Charlie Fry and got, had no uh, time to throw. And that, that even goes same for Jamarcus. There were moments of little protection. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, also watch out for Cleveland's running game. You know, I know we like to make fun of Cleveland a lot, or the NFL does. But their offensive line is looking for pieces of the puzzle slowly. You know, they got Thomas. Now they got Alex Mack. Their offensive line is slowly developing, and uh, we got to stop the run on them. Got to watch out for that. Also, the kick coverage, uh, we know what Josh Cribbs can do. Got to watch out for that as well. You know, the defense, once again, we allow the home run plays, but stop the short plays. Big example was Stanford Route making the game-saving uh, tackle on Stokely during that long pass. Thought the game was over there, but they held him to a field goal, kept him out of the end zone. Will they do that against the Browns? Uh, Derek Anderson is projected to start. Uh, Brady Quinn is on the injured reserve. So, but, you know, there's been good ups and downs for Derek Anderson. Mostly downs this year after being a pro bowler two years ago. But can we stop the home run play still? I mean, Cribs can run like crazy. And Massaquay is a decent uh, wide receiver from his Georgia days, I remember. So. Consistency is a big issue, you know, on paper we might have a letdown, but we still got to play to win the game, As even though this game, both teams may not be going anywhere. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, Oakland A's before uh, this video ends. The A's signed Coco Crisp, and uh, they pretty much now have a fifth outfielder, you know, now that we got uh, Taylor, they got... Uh, Ryan Sweeney, they got Raja Davis, and now they got Kogo Crisp. You know, also Eric Patterson can play outfield too. But now we got potentially five outfielders, and honestly, this trade does not make much sense. We signed him for like five million. If we're in it for defense, then sure it would make sense. He'd, we're assuming Coco is going to be a starter of this team. But otherwise, to me, this trade does not make sense. Unless we trade Rajay Davis or Ryan Sweeney. As I personally don't understand why we're, we're doing this. Uh, if you're an A's fan, please leave a comment below if you uh, on what you think of the signing. Of course, Raider fans can always keep talking about this Cleveland game. on What you think can happen. Uh, we'll see you all later, and uh, you'll see a UCLA Bowl preview for the Eagle Bank Bowl next. See you all later.